Hey guys, welcome to the Resin 101 series. This series is gonna be everything that I know about resin, anything from safety PPE, to types and uses, tips, tricks, and tools that I use, and even a video of 20 different resin ideas using anti-tag glitter. I'm so excited for this series because resin is one of my favorite materials to use in my craft room. So let's go get started. Hey everyone, it's Sam from the anti tay team and you're watching The Sam Show. Let's go make some fun things. Welcome to video one in the Resin 101 series. This episode is going to be based on safety and PPE that you should use while using different types of resin. I've been using resin in multiple different ways for about three years now and these are just the tips and tricks that I have learned to help keep myself safe while using these materials. I just want to let you guys know that I am not a professional. These are safety tips I personally use. Please use your best judgment and do your own research before using any types of resin. I wanna get started with PPE or personal protective equipment. This can range in a bunch of different ways and I have a couple examples in front of me, but we're gonna break it down to specifically what you should be doing. First off, I want to say that the, there's different types of resin and not all require the same level of PPE, but it's always best to be overly cautious and just protect yourself. These safety standards are specifically for epoxy resin, which are the two parts that you mix together. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is cover as much of your body as possible. This means long sleeve shirts, long pants, closed toed shoes. Pull your hair back out of your face. If you have longer hair, you don't want to get that in resin. It has happened. Not to me, but I have seen stories. You don't want it to happen to you. I also like to wear an apron because I have ruined jeans and shirts by getting epoxy on me. And it's just another layer to protect from the resin coming in contact with your skin. If that doesn't seem like enough to you and you want to go a step above, you can get a Tyvek suit and wear that over top of everything. I just wear a regular apron and put it over top whatever I'm wearing. The next thing you're going to want to wear are gloves, specifically nitrile gloves. That's what's recommended for epoxy resin because you do not want to get resin on your skin. With my gloves, I typically put two gloves on my dominant hand, which is my right hand, especially when I'm working with tumblers because I like to use my finger to apply it. Once my dominant hand is filled with epoxy, then I could just pull that glove off and throw it away instead of having to struggle to put another glove on, I already have one on. When pulling your gloves off, you wanna pull at the base of your glove and over top. This will prevent you from getting resin on your hands when you're taking them off. The most important thing that you can do while working with epoxy resin is to wear a respirator. I prefer the full face respirator from 3M just because I know it's protecting my eyes along with my lungs while I'm wearing it. However, it does hurt my neck after I wear it for a few hours, so if I'm working with resin a lot, I will use just the mouth respirator, but then make sure you are wearing goggles just in case resin splashes up into your eyes. This will protect you from getting it in your eyes. When putting on your full face respirator, you just slip it over and pull your hair, if you have a lot of hair, out through the back and adjust the straps by pulling backwards. You do that on the bottom and top. You want a snug fit. Respirator lines are cool, guys. That means you're wearing it properly. It doesn't need to be too tight, but it does need to be snug. Then when it's time to take it off, you just pull on the little lever tabs there and it will loosen up and then you just pull your pretty little face out. Now the half face respirator is a little bit different. It has a lever in the front, so you put it on the back of your head, strap it in the back, 
and then to easily take it on and off there's a little lever that goes up and down i like to have the lever closed when putting it on i just find it easier but don't forget to put on your goggles when you're wearing your half face respirator guys super important all cartridges are not created equally you'll see that i have pink cartridges which are representation by the 3m brand for organic vapor cartridges this is to prevent any organic vapors from getting in now a lot of epoxy resins say that they are voc or volatile organic compound free that doesn't mean you shouldn't be wearing a respirator you want to be as protective of your body as possible, specifically your lungs, so you don't get a chemical reaction. To put the cartridge on, there are little tabs on both the cartridge and the mask that you'll line up appropriately, and you'll put it on and then rotate it for it to fit snugly on there. Then to remove the cartridges, you'll do the opposite. You'll twist them off. There will be a recommended hour usage for your cartridges, but a good way to test if it's time for a new cartridge is to do a candle test. A candle test is where you light and blow out a candle, and then while wearing your respirator, you try to see if you can smell smoke. This is only for the organic vapor cartridges, but if you can smell smoke while wearing your respirator, it is time to change out your cartridges. The next thing you wanna think about when working with resin is the room you are doing it in. The larger the space, the better. But this does not mean you want to do it around other people or animals that aren't protected, especially while it's curing. Personally, I use epoxy resin in a spare bedroom, which is my craft room, which ideally isn't the best for ventilation. But because of that, I do different things like opening the window or using a HEPA filter while I'm in the room and while the resin continues to cure. It's ideal if you could work with resin outside or in a garage, someplace that has a ton of ventilation. But I live in Michigan. The weather plays around with epoxy resin, so I can't always do it outside. So that is why I take other precautions like opening the windows when I can and making sure I have my filter running on top of wearing respirators. I got this HEPA filter on Amazon, but you need to make sure that based on your room, the cubic feet is equivalent to the type of HEPA filter you purchase. Using resin is a risk. It's a chemical reaction. Some people are naturally sensitive to the reaction that takes place and others can become sensitive with prolonged exposure. If at any time you feel like your body is having a reaction or you're getting a headache or anything is off while working with resin, immediately stop what you're doing. Remove yourself from the room and if your symptoms continue, please contact a health professional. The more you protect yourself, the better you are at preventing damage to your body. Today's video, I mainly talked about the proper safety and PPE of epoxy resin, but I wanted you guys to know what the recommendations are for other types of resin. Even though it says optional, please use your best judgment and stay safe because it's not worth your health. Mm -hmm.